Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Warren. And we'd like to show you our character animation workflow and a tool we've created to help us with rapidly blocking our scenes with audio, lip sync, mocap, motion blending, and more. We start by modeling and rigging a character in Moto. We have controls for things like IK, facial morphs, and we have actors to create a pose library for things like phonemes, blinks, hand positions, or anything else we want. We save each character in their own scene. To begin a new animation sequence, we start by creating a master scene and importing by reference any characters we want to include. For example, in this case, we've imported two of our characters, Hamlet and Molly. We then save the master scene, and in this case, we'll call it Porkchop. To block our animation, we created a utility we call Gorilla. It's an animation sequencer, and you can think of it a bit like an audio sequencer, like Logic or GarageBand. But in addition to audio, Gorilla allows us to work with motion capture files, poses from Moto, and rapidly apply lip sync to our characters. Gorilla is designed for working in real time, so we can get accurate feedback with audio and for timing motions. So here we are in Gorilla, and we're going to load the pork chop scene we saved out of Modo. By default, Gorilla has set up an audio track and two animation tracks, one for each of our characters, Hamlet and Molly. We can add more tracks as desired, including audio, text, camera, animation, and expressions, and even more types to come that we'll show in future. So we'll load in a clip of Molly talking as a WAV file. Since we're going to be doing lip sync, we'll also add a text track. To make it easier to work with, we'll set up a loop range around the clip and zoom in. Hi, Hamlet! Hi, Hamlet! Hi we can set a fixed playback speed, for example, 50%. Hi, Hamlet! Hi, Hamlet! Or we can scrub it at varying speeds. <laughs> Now let's put in some text to give us a guide when doing the lip sync. For this short test, it isn't really necessary. But for larger projects, the text track can really help to find the section you want and keep things organized. Now we'll add an expression track. Expressions in this case are really just poses from actors in Modo. So here we can see all the poses that Gorilla has imported from the Modo scene file we loaded earlier. For example, we can select the actor phonemes and see all the poses included in that actor. Each pose is actually a blend of various facial morphs for the character, and this helps us rapidly block out the lip sync. So let's quickly rough in some lip sync poses. To get a sense of playback, we double-click on the Molly track to open up a viewer showing rendered representations of the poses. Now we quickly adjust the positions of the poses to improve the lip sync. Hi Hamlet! Hi Hamlet! Hi Hamlet! I'm happy with that. So now let's add some motion. I'm going to select Molly's animation track and load in a mocap BVH file from Carnegie Mellon. Hi, Hamlet! Now we'll add in a kung fu sequence for Hamlet that we source from an FBX saved out of Mixamo. In the top view, we see a line representing the motion path for Molly's walk. And we're going to use that as a guide to position Hamlet. So we'll move Hamlet to the end of that path and rotate him. Now in perspective view, let's preview how it works. 
So she's walking in. Hi, Hamlet! But it feels too slow. So let's speed up her walk. Let's say one and a half times. Hi, Hamlet! That looks better. A cool feature of Gorilla is that you're not limited to a single animation track for a character. So let's add another track for Molly, and we'll bring in a wave motion that we created using IPI Soft Motion Capture with Kinect cameras. Hi, Hamlet! Now as the layers are evaluated, we see that the wave is overriding Molly's walk, and that isn't what we want. But we can trim the clip to find where the wave starts, and then move that into position relative to her walk. Then when we open up the properties, we can now specify what joint to evaluate. So we can select the right shoulder, and Gorilla will just blend in the motion from that joint down. Finally, we can add in some fade in and fade out to smoothly blend the arm's motion from walking into waving and back. So let's take a look at the whole scene again and also activate the preview of the facial expressions. Hi, Hamlet! Hi, Hamlet! Now that's a good start, but I'm going to load a more complete version of the scene I've been working on. We can now play back the whole scene and see how it works. Hi, Hamlet! I didn't know you could do Kung Fu! I can't! This is mocap! Wow, it's like you're living in the Matrix. <laughs> and when we're happy with that, we can send the scene over to Modo to continue working. Thanks, Dave. So here we are back in Modo with the scene that was output from Gorilla. And as you can see, we've got our two reference characters, Molly and Hamlet. And we've also got this new item called Gorilla Cam which is the camera track that was created in Gorilla. So before scrubbing this, I'm just going to go over here to the shader tree and disable the texturing for Molly and Hamlet. Because we imported by reference, one of the nice things we get is this kind of encapsulation by characters, so we can very easily disable all their texturing. And that just speeds up our interactivity a bit as we scrub. So now as we scrub, we can see what's happening. Here comes Molly with that uh, blended in hand wave that Dave added in Gorilla. And Hamlet is doing his Kung Fu moves. Now, his moves were stripped from an FBX file out of Mixamo, but it could equally have been from Maya or 3D Studio or Motion Builder. And now, at this point, he's going to do uh, a backflip. Now, this backflip was motion capture that was retimed in Gorilla to slow it down to make it like a bullet time type of effect. And finally, as he stands up, this is custom captured footage that we created with IPI soft and Kinect cameras. So with Gorilla, we've got the capability to blend motion from a variety of sources. It could be BVH, it could be from FBX, or it could be from an animation you've hand keyed in Moto. And it can be part of a full body animation, or, like in the case of the wave, it can be just part of the body. So you can build up a library of motions in Gorilla that you can retarget onto any character that you want. An important distinction that I want to make is that we are not importing motions in a point cache like MDD or Alembic, but rather Gorilla has actually retargeted the motions cleanly back onto our existing rigs in Moto. If we come over here to the Items tab, I can open Molly's folder and we can view her joints and her rig controls. And you can see that we've got the ability to use Moto's powerful rigging tool set to manipulate and tweak the animation. For example, I've just gone over into perspective view so we can move around a little bit without disturbing the camera. But we could uh, come along here, for example, and just decide that at this point we want her fist to clench. So there we go. The idea is that we can block a sequence very rapidly in Gorilla with real-time feedback and then bring that back into Moto for adding the finesse details and overriding any areas we want. Another example is the head look controller. 
because when the mocap was produced, we didn't know where the character would be looking in the scene. So with this, we can adjust exactly where we want Molly to look, overriding the underlying mocap again and creating a very stable point of reference for her gaze. We could also use inverse kinematics. For example, uh, let's just come out here at, say, this frame if we wish. We could blend the arm into inverse kinematics. And now with this inverse kinematic control, we can move the arm as we wish. Again, overriding the underlying mocap that was produced by Gorilla. So here we come from the walk forward kinematic into the inverse kinematics. And now it's heading back to forward kinematics again. One of our goals is to get Gorilla working with ACS, and we feel that will make for a very powerful workflow. One where you could block rapidly in Gorilla, lay out your audio, bring in mocap, work with poses, adjust timing, all with real-time feedback. And when you're done, send that back onto uh, the ACS rig in Moto. Some animators may just use the motions from Gorilla as a guide for hand animation, and this approach has a long-standing history in traditional animation, and that's great. Others may choose to use the motions straight out of Gorilla, as we've done in this test scene, with a minimum of tweaking, and that's fine too. Now this is a very quick demo scene, but to give you an idea, it took about 30 minutes to block the scene in Gorilla, and then about an hour and a half of tweaking back in Moto to get to this stage. I could obviously keep refining it further, but we're just going to let it rip and go ahead with a render so you can see the whole sequence in action. So thanks for watching and enjoy some piggy kung fu. Hi, Hamlet. I didn't know you could do kung fu. I can't. This is mocap. Wow, it's like you're living in the Matrix. 